Follow along, guys. Wild ride. Normal day. Let's talk about some service dogs. Let's talk about trainers. Let's talk about dog training. Let's go from Virginia to D.C. to Maryland, back to D.C., back to Virginia, all in one afternoon. It's a normal, man. Anyway, let's roll. Hold it all, Will. Thank you, ma'am. Child labor. Ryan, pretending to work. Jeff and Tabby, Tabby uh, looking busy. Mike teaching a class. Let's take a look here. So we're going to look through the windows. We don't disturb. But you got a pretty big class going on. Let's check in the back. We're going in the back. And yet again, we got trainers looking busy. Not really busy. Oh, 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 oh. Got another little princess. One thing Ridgeside Canine can do is train some dogs and make some babies. We got so many babies in Ridgeside Canine, it's crazy. <laughs> it's a good thing. <laughs> Let's go find out where everybody else is at. We should have some more wily coyotes out here. Let's check and see. All right, so damn hot. Motherfucking camera fogs up. That ain't good. Hey, hey good morning. Hey. How we doing? Caroline, good morning. You're gonna kill me, but they can both tell you I'm horrible with names. Kendall. Tell me your first name again. Kendall. Kendall. I should have known that. Kendall. Good morning. Good morning. How many shirts you get? Two. All right, we'll probably give you some more. You got the new one on. Yeah. Yeah, I got two. All right, cool. Doing good work. <laughs> busy, busy. A lot going on. A lot going on. A lot going on. A lot going on. That's good, man. Good problems to have when you're busy. Busy can create its own set of problems, though. Don't make any mistake about that. Busy can be problematic if you're busy without a plan. But if you're busy with a plan, it's a good problem to have. We are back on the road. Uh, just left Winchester. I am going to the Eastern Shore. Uh, not exactly, North Beach, Maryland. Got Rocky, you got Nala in the back. Nala, where you at, Mama? Nala. 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 She's in the trunk. George likes to go. She likes to hide out in the back. Anyway. Supercharging, topping off in Ashburn, heading up, bottom of DC, uh, dropping into that Southern Maryland area. Gonna see Scott, gonna go a little more south, gonna see Caleb, gonna jump back into Virginia. Keep this day rocking. We are at the Broadlands uh, Supercharging Station, pretty big station right there off 267, the toll road, just prior to Dulles Airport. Supercharging, uh, we are going slow right now, boy. 67 kilowatts, no bueno, but that's okay. Um, I've got my trip set a little bit high right now. I'm going to try to max this out or give it a full charge. We can bring it back just a little bit probably. But uh, whatever. I'm going to actually let that go all the way up. Stand by. I basically want as much charge as possible so I can get all the way to Southern Maryland and way back into Virginia before charging again. Um, but that's it. Let's roll. So this is how they normally lay, man. I, again, you guys know if you know me, I put this fan right here in the middle of Tesla just to help push that cold air back. But there goes Nala. That's where she likes to lay. A little pit bull mix. Oh, it's my girl. That's where she lays. Gives me little kisses. And then on this side is where Rocky lays. If I pet her, Mr. Jealous here, my boy gets so jealous. And if I ignore him, he'll go over there and hammer her. So see right even there. He'll put his mouth around her neck. And like that's his way of letting her know, like, but she don't care. She gives it back. Nala can I hey, Nala. Hey, say hi to the camera. Nala. Nala. Where's your pretty little oh Rocky's messing with her? He's trying to push her out. She's refusing to leave. <laughs> it's what they do all day long. That's what happens. So he messes with her, she gets annoyed, and then she goes lays in the trunk. <laughs> Rocky, leave her alone. She was so good until you started messing around. Plus it. But yeah, they're a lot, a lot of space, nice and cool. It's actually an awesome dog car. All right, so we got a few minutes until Max charged in a short little road trip. So I'm going to go inside Harris Teeter and use the restroom. So the awesome part about Tesla, turn dog mode on. Dog mode's activated now. So I can leave these guys in the car. The screen's going to show dog mode is on. It'll maintain internal temperature at 66 degrees. gonna lock when I get about you know uh, 15 feet away you hear it in a minute beep there he goes 
locked up. We are definitely a long way from that Ashburn charging station. Coming into Upper Marlboro in Peachy County. Quick little cut through as we get over more towards the shore side of Maryland. But uh, you gotta love Northern Virginia, man. Within an hour, you cross a uh, tremendous amount of people. Vast area, that is for sure. I think that's the new PG County Government Center buildings over there, or part of them, or something. Not sure. Anyway, put that old pretty water tower. Let's keep rolling. Started this video in Winchester. Secondary to video in Ashburn. Quick little stop through in uh, Chesapeake North Beach. No, Waldorf. Now we're in Chesapeake North. North Beach. North Beach in Calvert County, Maryland. Hanging out with Scott. Cool, cool guy, Mr. Andy, we just met. You may see him some more. But we just saw a kick-ass kennel. Phenomenal. Behind me is this loud-ass uh, truck. Looks like some something uh, Scott just rented from Budget Car. Um, something about a brand-new F-250 with a power stroke. But hold on, hold on. We got a future dog trainer for sure. Listen, if this truck looks a little ghetto, I'm sorry. But it's just Scott's doing the best he can. Um, yo, say hi to your fans. Say hi to your fans. Hi. What do you got to say to them? Say, say something. You talk a lot on video. I see you all the time. Oh, Aaron's holding the camera and now you're nervous. You're not nervous when daddy's holding the camera. All right, anyway, I don't, I don't want to mess up this. Uh, look at that. That's wood. You need to start a fire. You got some fire starter right there. It's good stuff. Anyway, Scott's hanging, banging, Mr. Andy. Don't know where the rest of this day is going to take us. We're pretty far from home, but we're going to keep on getting it. Super cool little beach town, man. Look at that water right there. Chesapeake Ave. Super beautiful little town right here. I love this area. Honestly, it's the first time I've actually been to this town. But I do love it. North Beach, Calvert County. That looks like a car. Nope, not a cop. I was about to cut them off. I have a stop sign. They don't. That's okay. Anyway, I'm trying to get down here so I can show you guys the beach. That's why I love Northern Virginia, man. I mean, I love Tennessee a lot more. But... Northern Virginia is cool. You don't have to drive far. You can be in the mountains on dirt roads or a short little drive and you're in a city or a shorter little drive and you're on the beach. But right here, just down from Andy's house, is, uh, look at this bad boy right here. This is cool. This is beautiful. Is this one way? I think it's one way. Yep, it's one way. Hold on, people. Taking you on a little sightseeing adventure. No fishing, no swimming. I got you. No fishing, no swimming. Look at this beautiful little Americana town, man. Beautiful little colonial style houses right here. I love it. Nice little adventure. Water right there. Super cool. Looks like a little hotel or something right here. Look at that. That's neat. Anyway, North Beach, uh, Calvert County. Doing a little vlogging over here. What are they doing? Shooting a little video. That's cool. Look at that. <laughs> Let's see what they're doing over here. Ah. That's cool. Shoot a little video. I like it. All right, guys. Just left Scott's uh, buddy Andy's house. We're cruising down to see Caleb. Uh, not too far from here at all. Actually, pretty close. See him. Hang out. Uh, see his dogs. And then get back across the river. Get back in Virginia. A little road tripping. Put a little Nala. So back there in the trunk still. Back there in the trunk. Anyway, that's it. So it's Northern Virginia miles, man. You're all over the damn place. And you got to drive with this knucklehead. It's kind of annoying. See Nala back there? Why can't you be like her? Why can't you just lay and be normal? Why you got to ride like this? All right, guys. We are still in beautiful Calvert County. Uh, pulling down to Caleb's house. Awesome little driveway right here. Beautiful. We'll see you at his front door here in just a second. I know the sunlight's playing tricks on us. But there he is. There he be. <laughs> awesome little house right here. Not little, but awesome house. And here we go. All right, guys, we are now in Southern Calvert County. Yes, St. Leonard. St. Leonard. And we are here with Shelby and Caleb, checking out their spot, hanging out for a little bit. Phenomenal setup. Look at this beautiful house. Stunning. Let your dog come hang out in this country club-like lifestyle. Hang out in this back patio overlooking the beautiful forest. It's, a, it's, it's a really cool setup, man. Really cool setup. And uh, Caleb is a Navy vet, and Shelby is also a Navy vet. Yep, two veterans here at Ridgeside. We appreciate it. Awesome stuff. 
guys, me and Caleb are done chatting. Beautiful area down here where these guys live, man. Caleb, Alan, Scott, they all live in this super cool uh, beach town. You feel like you're so far away, but you're literally like 20 minutes outside of DC. I love it. Get back on the road. Cut back up. Look at that water right there, boy, right by the ocean, right by the beach. Love it, so cool, Veterans Memorial Park. Maybe I'll stop in and show some respect. But I actually gotta go. So it is what it is. It is what it be. Is this me? Yep. Missed my turn almost. Anyway, back to the Beltway, back through the city, and then back west to Virginia. All right, guys, wrapping up a long trip today. It's 7 p.m. I turned this fan on at 0850 on high on the Ryobi. And it just now shut off at literally like 1907. Ran all day. Great little tool. This trip in a Tesla was 216 miles total. We've used 237 kilowatts per mile. That's, uh, that's pretty good, guys. I give myself a lot of credit. But that's it. We're home. Super long day. Got Nala Girl to my left. The Rocky Boy to my right. I know they're home. I know they're home. Yeah. <laughs> I love that little black pit bull right there. That little girl. She's a killer, actually. She's a pretty damn good dog. Anyway. Long day, man. You guys know, man, my house is kind of a uh, construction site right now. A lot going on. So anyway, just got home. Uh, I'm going to plug in the Tesla. I don't have a supercharger at my house yet. At some point, I will. But uh, we have so many projects going on here at the house that... Nala, why don't you chase that barn cat, little mama? Let's chase my barn cat. That's off limits. But uh, at some point when the new carport and stuff goes up, we're gonna we're adding solar. And once that solar is added, then I'm going to have some power walls and we'll run some direct charging, right? We're actually dropping that greenhouse and putting in a big carport. And then we're going to expand. Some of you guys may not know, we have a 7.5 kilowatt system of solar right there. It's pretty big. But we're adding on to that. So we're going to get... We're bringing a lot of solar, man. We're going to try to get as much off the grid as possible. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And the cool part is, Nala, come on. Again, a house, a construction site right now. There's like two different crews that are working here doing projects, which, you know, it's a lot going on. But uh, the gazebo right there, let me show you this badass project. No, don't even think about it. See that deer running right there? I don't know if y'all caught it. But, uh. This gazebo is going up right now, and it's pretty cool. It's, it's actually really cool. I'm, I'm downplaying it a little bit, but it's neat. Um, crazy amount of craftsmanship, crazy amount of worksmanship. We had a bunch of electric going in a day, running wires through these damn 13 by 13 logs, which is pretty crazy. Hopefully that's a cold wire. I'm sure it is. My guys would never leave a hot wire like that, <laughs> right? There you go. What it's all about. That's what it's all about. Your dogs can run off like that and drop an old deuce in peace and quiet. <laughs> Place looks disheveled, but it's only because there's a lot going on. Can't have a building site without a little bit of disheveledness. But um, walk back here real quick and check on our... Uh, see if that one barn cat is still hanging. The sound I make, let my barn cats know I'm coming. Nala, don't you go too fast. You gotta watch Nala, she'll try to kill a cat and I'll have to kill her. I wouldn't kill her, but let's just not let her kill one of my barn cats. Population control. Go slow here, they like to hang right there on that bite table. I don't see them. If you look past that G-Wagon and you look right there, square bite table. Oh, there she is, there's one right there. See the cat? Right there, guys. See her straight ahead. There's one of my barn cats. Negative, Rocky. Off beat. We love our barn cats. Anyway, here. Puss. So bravo. All right, cool. She's there, so we'll go back inside and uh, get everything together. Come back out and feed her. This nasty work zone kills me. Kills me with this stuff here. But, you know, if you've done any remodels, you know it's just part of the game. Part of the process. So we're going to trickle charge Tesla. Green, we're green. We good. Get some charge on that. I'm not gonna drive this for a day or so anyway. I'm gonna take the 
for G-Wagon them all. Negative. Leave them alone, Mom. Let's go. Look <laughs> at this place, man. Ugh, so bad. This will be interesting. So we're going to go in here, and you're going to see what real protection dogs look like. Right there, boy. There's some real protection dogs right there. There's Colette. She's running. She's wearing normal clothes. She don't want you to see those pants. There's my boys, though. Hey, boys and girls. Daddy's home. Yes. Come see your fan base. Come see your fan base. Yes. Hey, Peanut. Daddy's here. That's my fan base right there. They'll tell you I'm the best person on the face of the planet. You can just ask them. They'll tell you. And this is Littles. Ooh, Littles is deaf. 100% deaf and half blind. But he runs the house and that's real talk. So Littles again, 100% deaf, half blind, but he's in charge. And this is Peanut. Peanut doesn't like me. He'll growl at me and try to bite me when anybody else is here. But when it's just me and him, we get along pretty good. But little Peanut, he's the asshole of the house. Peanut stirs everybody up. Peanut gets everybody worked up. Makes everybody angry. But we still love him. He's still little Peanut. He's a good dog. <laughs> it's, it's prisoners, right? Rocky, quiet your face. We got, we got cell block A. Cell, cell block B. Wait for the reunion. Right, guys, I'm back outside. Got some cat food. Ton of water. So I float the cat food for the barn cats because it forces uh, hydration. I mean, there's really, you know, get some nice fresh water. But um, here goes old Kevin's car, my son's car. Nice old Nissan Sentra. Park this back here because you can't have any trees fall on it. One thing you got to be careful of when you live out here is, well, trees fall. And you don't want trees falling on high-end vehicles. It'd be a nightmare. What the hell is that cat at? Boop, boop. I think she's right there. Boop, boop. Are you under my tractor? You see her? You gotta have country eyes to spot it. See her? Right there? Look right. Where's it at? Right there. See her face? There she is. Come on, little mom. We got dinner, baby girl. Come on. Let's eat. She'll come eat. Guarantee she's going to come eat. So I keep this other container here. Oh, stand by, guys. So that's a cat food container. And then we'll back off. She'll, uh, she ain't going to wait long to come eat. See her? Right there. <laughs> She's like, I'm hungry. She'll come. She'll let me stay about this close. She's a hard one. I can't really get her tamed up very well. She's a hard one to catch. And um, she does a good job, man. I've seen her on the video camera stand her ground multiple times. See, right now I'm looking at her so she won't come. But if I sit here and I turn my head this direction and I have the phone this direction, you may see her come out. Let's see. Give it, give it a little bit of time. She wins. I got shit to do. And I can't wait here all damn night. But um, there she goes. I'll show you. Feast yourself, little one. Stay healthy. Stay strong. I've literally watched this cat on the videos, though. Run foxes out of this. Bar. It's a big cat. Um, run foxes out. Run raccoons out. Keep possums out. She's she's pretty good damn cat, man. So we'll keep her around. That's it, man. Long day. A couple hundred miles from Loudoun County to Frederick County, Winchester City back east all the way through Loudoun to Fairfax to Arlington Alexandria City Washington DC Prince George's County Calvert County we've hit them all Ridgeside Miles it's a real thing 